Okay, so uh, this ain't going in a direction I was hoping. <laughs> what the world? What the heck? Super goop. I feel like I'm getting dizzy. Is it Cl Bless his name. Is it not Cl Oh, no. What up, what's going on? It's Minna. In this video, we are doing, actually, I don't even know what we're doing. I just sat down. I have a few new items in front of me that I want to try. This is a testing mostly new products video. Okay. Make sure you are subscribed. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Make sure you are subscribed to my text community. You get to text me one-on-one. -on -one. It's free. Anyone can join. Link is always in the description box. The number is here as well, so you can see it. I post three days a week, Sundays, and then Tuesdays and Thursdays usually. Either way, it's three videos a week. Make sure you are watching all of them. Turn on your notifications because sometimes YouTube be acting up. Also follow the IG. It gets popping over there as well. Now I've already poured my Cinema Secrets brush cleaner. This is a little travel size version of it. Obviously it was full. I do have the larger version. So what I do is replenish this when it goes down and then it comes with this little cute container that I pour the liquid inside of. So then I can clean my brushes as I go. That's what helps me keep my brushes clean. The small ones. I don't put the big brushes in here. Obviously those I clean at the sink, just saying, okay? I did my skincare this morning, but I don't have on any SPF because I went to do, put some on and I couldn't find it. My husband took mine. So this is the Super Good Mineral Sheer Sunscreen. Mineral Sheer. Sounds like opposites because mineral is usually gonna leave a white cast, but this one claims to be mineral and sheer. So let's give it a try. I'm gonna put on a lot of sunscreen because we gotta project the face. Oh my gosh. All the links to these items are gonna be below. If you have ever tried this sunscreen, let me know. You're probably like, uh, why'd you take so much? Because you are supposed to take a lot of sunscreen. Otherwise you're not getting the full SPF. Hello, my Lord. That blue color you're seeing there is the SPF. What's the product name? I'm, not, I'm blanking right now, but it's basically a white powder that gets crushed down and processed to then hopefully not leave a white cast. But obviously it does when we're talking about mineral sunscreens, physical sunscreens. Wait, why am I getting confused? I'll put the chart here, the image here so you can see. I, I get them confused, but either way, this is like a little psychotic. <laughs> But I hope that it is going to absorb. <laughs> okay, so uh, this ain't going in a direction I was hoping. <laughs> what the world? What the heck? Super goop. I feel like I'm getting dizzy. Is it Cl Bless his name. Is it not Cl Oh, no. I knew I should have stuck a bunch of St. Clear SPF sun stick. What? SPF sick stick? Bless the name of the lord oh no i can't mix it i can't rub it in any further i am going to continue the video because i have one hour before i jump in the carpool line i don't have time to play games i don't have time to go wash my face do my skincare it comes back down again so we already know that we don't like this uh this is going to give me a giveaway for somebody white because even you might not like it depending on how tan your skin is even you might not like it but for me it's a no I hope that this best skin ever foundation is gonna cover it. I wanna try the Sephora best skin ever foundation. This is, I've tried it before. It's not in a, not the, I haven't done a full face of it because I tried it in a video when I was comparing it with the Fenty skin tint, but then I didn't do a full face with it. I took this one out because the color is darker because I got darker. So I wonder if this will fit me. I think it will, 63P, P for pink. Let's see, this is gonna be real. My hands aren't that dark. Let's see. Okay. I think this is going to fit me. Oh yeah. Cause your girl got a little dark in the summer. So let's give this a try. Okay. Natural finish. So do you see the co-ops? If you've ever put on a, uh, an SPF and then it turned out like this, comment and let me know what you did afterward. Yeah. This is going to fit me for sure. This is good. This color is good. It is giving me coverage. I'm judging it because of the nasty SPF underneath it. <laughs> Give me coverage. I I can't even do it. You know what I'm saying? I did already prime my lips using the MAC Prep and Prime. Let's get this on the whole face, okay? This is looking a little wild and crazy, kids. Who is that commercial? <laughs> or that jingle, whatever you call it. I don't know how I'm feeling about 
this because I'm definitely seeing that the P in here, the P for pink, I am catching the pink in this foundation. What do you think? I mean, I think it's okay. I think it's okay because we still need to finish the whole face, but it's giving me a little bit of concern because the P is really peeing. That is what it says. So I can't fault the foundation. It's just the darkest one of that foundation that I have and I wanted to try it. So here we are. Let's see if we can bring this together. Because you know me, I'm gonna give it a, I'm gonna give it a full face shot. You see what I'm saying? I'm gonna give it a full face shot and see how we can bring this together or not. This is also new. This is It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Full Coverage Anti-Aging Waterproof Concealer. Wow, what a name. This is the color Deep TNW 40.0. I don't know about this. This one I feel like would be best under my eyebrow to clean up my brows. Let's see. Yeah, look how light that is. Wow, no, that's light. This color is reminding me of the color I had in the Becca Cosmetics Foundation. It was pink, but I, I made it work though, so it was fine. This is looking light. And I feel like it's thick, just judging by the tube. Oh yeah, look at that. This is a thick concealer. That's actually pretty cool. This is great if you really have dark under eyes, hence why it's a full coverage concealer. But for me, I'm not gonna put that under my eyes because that's just too much. I'm gonna save this for under my brow. So I'm gonna clean my hand and use what I got around here for under the eye. And then we're gonna go forward. So let's just work our way through that. All right, here we are with the eyes, keeping my forehead stretched because I don't want my eyelid to crease. <laughs> we are gonna use this Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Eyeshadow Palette, okay? Look at these colors, baby. All right, so here I turned down my lights and you can see the actual colors. Let's play in this and see what look we come up with. All right, this is a MAC 217 brush. This is an oldie but goodie brush right here. Taking the color Loyal into my crease. Let's see what's going on. Mm, can't see Loyal like I need to. Hold on. Taking more, always tapping off the excess. No, Loyal's not working in the crease. Okay, we're gonna come back to that. Okay, but right now in the crease, I'm gonna use, let's just do the same brush. I'm using Paradise in this Sigma Fiery Eyeshadow Palette. It's just a great transition color. Paradise and Summer Song are great transition colors. So right here. Taking a bigger brush, this is Thrive Cosmetics. Watch my Amazon brush video. It's the Jessup brush set from Amazon if you were looking for for one particular set, but if you're gonna follow me, you're gonna find me using lots of different random brushes, all right? <laughs> this one is from Thrive Cosmetics. I'm gonna get into my crease right now. Now in this fiery palette, I am gonna take Summer Song because it's gonna add some red to this orange looking transition area, the crease area. I just like to build up the colors and then we'll move into the lid colors in the palette. 
So right here, Summer Song is a reddish brown, as you can see, more like a red, but it's, it's, it's got some burgundy in there. Not so much purple though, so I'd say a reddish brown. Right now I'm using the color Connect to put in the outer part of my eyes, and then in the inside I'm using the color Effect. All right, we are almost done with the eyes right now. I think I'm gonna put something pink on the bottom. Actually, no, just kidding. <laughs> so I was thinking about that, but I already brought the colors down. You know, my what I like to do is to bring the crease colors down to the bottom. So I did the same old, same old. I'm gonna try this new mascara out. Comment, let me know if you tried this before. Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I just got this recently, so I don't know if it's out or not, but let's try and see what she's talking about. Let's do top and bottom. I am gonna wear falsies, obviously, but let's just see what it's about, okay? Let's see, we have volume and curl and length, two different sections of it, so. I'm gonna use the curling length first and then volume. That just makes the most sense. Okay, so this is curl and length. Let's see. Oh, okay. What do you think? Okay, that does look nice. Wow. All right. Now, what about volume? Oh, ooh, the stick is different. The wand, I mean, I'm gonna try this on the bottom too. Bottom lashes and see what it does. I'm not seeing huge difference on top. Although, depending on the density of your lashes, this may look way better on you. I mean, okay, no, I do see a little bit of difference on top. This is pretty, wow. If I was a no lashes, full face kind of a girl, I would do this on my top, but I like a full lash. So speaking of lash, I bought this set of lashes from Amazon. I'm gonna try this out for you. It's on my Amazon storefront. And there are others, there are lots of other lashes on there as well. Some multi-packs, some individual. I hope that the band is wide enough because now I'm looking at it, this band looks short. The band meaning the width of it, but I'll figure it out. I'll put it in the center of my lashes to make sure that it works. So using tweezers to take it out because if not, it could easily rip off. Like so annoying, I've done that before. Will you rip off part of the lash? This isn't very dramatic. Oh man. But we're gonna try it on and see what's going on. You know, I like him to be real thick and fluffy, very dense, very dark. The density is basically the, the, like the darkness, the thickness of the hairs. So let's Let's see. Yo, honestly, <laughs> hold on. Amazon is doing something. I like these lashes look at them wow i really am enjoying these they're they give me like one 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 right versus the ones i normally wear they're kind of kind of folded and very thick whereas these i see them individual and i'm feeling it especially with the peekaboo in the middle this halo eye i'm seeing it through the those goldy whatever color I have in the middle. I like this. Comment, let me know if you like this lash. This is cute and real affordable. We got what, a four pack. I think it was less than $15, maybe even less than $10. Link is always below, baby. Comment, let me know if this is the kind of lash you would wear. I'm liking this. I really am. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yes, baby. All right, now this eyeliner I've had for some time now. It is LA Girl Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner. I wanted something different in my eye because I'm sick and tired of the same old black. This is the color Super Bright. And then I'm gonna line the inner eye. I'm gonna do the mascara on the bottom, both sides, and see what it comes out to be. And then we'll do the lip. Okay, so it's definitely not giving me what I need in the bottom lashes. It's okay. It did well at the top, but the top lash area isn't my concern because I wear falsies. The bottom lash area is my concern because I don't have have falsies on the bottom lash. So for the, I judge mascaras from on my bottom lashes and right now it's just okay. It's not doing amazing. Alrighty, now it's time for the lip. I feel like doing something bold. I wonder what color I should do. I don't know, geez Louise. If you could tell me, if this were alive, you could tell me the color to do. All right, why don't we go ahead with Nima Tang and Dosa Colors, baby? We're gonna go with Bo, B-E-A-U. It's a lipstick. 
lipstick. I used to love this lipstick, So Shod from MAC when I worked there. This is giving me, I feel like this is going to be like it, but let's see. Ooh, yes. Did you get this color? Comment, let me know. This is definitely a satin. It's comfortable. It reminds me of the Urban Decay lipsticks that I just tried. What, uh, what's the finish called? Like it's giving you high power, full coverage, but it's comfortable. It's not dry. All right, Bo did not come to play. Do you understand? Come and let me know what you think about this. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Yeah. Makeup Forever Mist and Fix 2 sprays. So this is number two in their set of sprays, I suppose. <laughs> I don't know what number one is. All right, let's spray this. Let me get my fan because, you know, you gotta fan yourself down. That's what I like to do. We're not gonna use paper and towels and cards and things. We're gonna just get our hands easy and easy fan, okay? I'm gonna give her a test because I want to see how aggressive she comes out. She's pretty aggressive, so I gotta hold her real far back. <laughs> you gotta test out your sprays, okay? Hold on, let me go, let me go real far, let me go real far. I'm nervous because this is a very aggressive spray. Okay, when you hold it far away, it's not too bad. Keep the eyes looking down so your eye shadow doesn't crease. This made me dewy, but let me know if you are into the dewy look. This definitely made me dewy. It's not what I was expecting at all, but that's okay. Let me just part of my nose a little. Taking it down off of the nose a little bit does make a difference. All right, girl, this is the end of the video. Listen, it all came together with that SPF that we were horrified by. So that goes to show that if your SPF is gonna leave you with a white cast, you can still cover it up with your foundation, usually. Can't guarantee with every foundation you use, but in this case, it worked. Let me know what you think because the P for the pink undertone of the foundation actually came together. The look came together. So comment, let me know if you're liking how this foundation looks on me. As always, glad you watch my videos. Make sure you're subscribed, give the video a thumbs up. We need it. The channel needs it. We're already at 22,000. Can we get 50,000 by Christmas? I just wanna know, okay? Thank you for watching. Bye.